welcome to the 1000 Curiosities channel. Today's video is about the guinea pig. The guinea pig is part of the Cavide family and has the scientific name Cavia porcellus. It is a rodent which originates from South America. It was imported to Europe in the 16th century and from Europe it was taken to North America. The South American guinea pig is larger than the European and North American ones and is considered edible by humans. Guinea pigs are the most widely used animals in lab tests. In Europe alone, 250,000 guinea pigs are sacrificed each year in the name of science. Meanwhile, many of them are used as pets all around the globe. Despite their name, guinea pigs do not come from Guinea and they are not biologically related to pigs, the origin of their name being unclear. Lab tests on guinea pigs were being conducted as early as the 17th century they were so frequently used as lab rats between the 19th and 20th century that the term lab rat was even applied to humans which took part in lab tests. The scientific name Porcellus translates as the little pig, while cavia means rat. They were likened to pigs because of their large heads in comparison with their body and due to some of their noises which sound like pigs. An adult guinea pig weighs between 700 and 1200 grams and its length is between 20 and 25 centimeters. The species includes several varieties of color and fur. Their fur can be short, long or very long and it can have one color or a combination of two or more colors black, red, white or beige. Although it is not noticeable, guinea pigs also have a tail. In fact, it is only a short extension of their spine without any physiological importance. The guinea pigs are social animals which live in pairs. In their natural habitat, they live in groups of 8 to 10 individuals to protect themselves from predators. When they are attacked, each of them runs in a different direction, confusing the attacker. Two female guinea pigs will get along very well, but two males won't. They are adored as pets because they are very docile and very easy to domesticate. They can recognize persons and most of the times they welcome them with specific sounds. When they are hungry, they will ask for food in a loud manner. They are ideal as pets for kids because unlike hamsters or other rodents, they don't bite and they don't scratch. Guinea pigs cannot climb and they cannot jump. Care is necessary if they are placed in a high place as they run a risk of serious injury if they fall. Generally. They are strong, healthy animals. They do not need vaccination or to see the veterinarian very often. For a good digestion, they need hay all the time. They also need water permanently. Guinea pigs have a very good memory, as well as very well-developed hearing, smell and tactile sense. However, their eyesight is not very good. They cannot stand very loud sounds, and just like the pigs, they eat very much. They chew something all the time because their front teeth never stop growing and need to be blunted. It is a herbivore animal and it eats seeds, fruit and vegetables. Its favorite foods are carrots, apples, parsley, dill and green peppers. Males become sexually active after about 60 days of life while females after 35 days. Their gestation period is between 60 and 75 days. They give birth to between 2 and 5 babies at one time. At birth, baby guinea pigs have their eyes open and have fur. Mothers breastfeed the babies for approximately 3 weeks. The life expectancy of a guinea pig is between 4 and 8 years. In 2006, the Guinness Book of Records recorded a guinea pig that lived for 14 years and 10 months. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Do you own a guinea pig or did you own one in the past? Do you plan on buying one as a pet for you or your kids? Or are you scared of them? Whatever the answer, please leave it in the comment section below. My name is Christian and until the next video, all the best.